Look at her, a prisoner of the gutters, condemned by every syllable she utters. By right she should be taken out and hung for the cold-blooded murder of the English tongue. Ow! Ow! Heavens, what a noise! This is what the British population calls an elementary education. No, sir, I think you picked the poor example. Did I? Hear them down in Soho Square, dropping H's everywhere, speaking English any way they like. You, sir, did you go to school? What are you talking for? No one taught him take instead of type. Hear a Yorkshireman, or worse, hear a Cornishman converse. I'd rather hear a choir singing flat. Chickens cackling in a barn, just like this one. Yeah! <laughs> Gone! I ask you, sir, what sort of word is that? It's owl and gun that keep her in her place. Not her wretched clothes and dirty face. Why can't the English teach their children how to speak? This verbal class distinction by now should be antique. If you spoke as she did, sir, instead of the way you do, why, you might be selling flowers too. I beg your pardon? An Englishman's way of speaking absolutely classifies him. The moment he speaks, he makes some other Englishman despise him. One common language I'm afraid we'll never get. Oh, why can't the English learn to set a good example to people whose English is painful to your ears. The Scotch and the Irish leave you close to tears. There even are places where English completely disappears. Well, in America they haven't used it for years. It's rather dull in town, I think. Looks like me to Paris. The missus wants to open up a castle in Capri. Mm. The doctor recommends a quiet summer by the sea. Mm. Mm. Won't well, it be lovely? What are you about for the spring, Eliza? Do your it! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 